It was a normal spring day. Birds were chirping. Little baby calves were running around their mamas. It was my ideal day. I was checking cows just like I had been doing every day on the same horse. The only thing different about that day is I didn't have a bit in the horse's mouth. I got off to shut a gate, went to get back on, and something spooked the horse. When she took off, my foot was stuck in a stirrup. She dragged me for about 100 yards or so, and then my face met a stump. Her horse ran by and as her older brother, I've given her a lot of trouble over stuff like that. And so I went over to her and I told her that her horse had got away and, and kind of started laughing at her. And she turned and looked at me and, and her face had been crushed. I underwent several hours of reconstructive surgery. My brow bone was shattered in many different places. The lower part of my eye socket was fractured. I received a metal plate in my temple. There were problems with my jaw. Half of my ear was ripped off. And all of these injuries had doctors afraid that I wasn't going to be able to walk or talk again. She was in the hospital for, I can't remember exactly how long, but when they came home, it was, uh, it was just a, a huge relief that she had made it through to that point. Every week I would go back for constant checkups to see how the eye was doing. And I remember very vividly the time that I went and they told me that I would have to have my eye removed. My eye was deteriorating and, and deflating, and so it was taking nutrients from my good eye to try to supply and make up the deficiency in the, in the nutrients of my right eye. So immediately I had my right eye removed and an ocular implant was put in. My family was faced with an incredible medical bill that at the time we had insurance problems so there was question that we weren't going to have enough money to cover those incredible medical bills. So thankfully the community and our church friends and everyone kind of rallied behind us to help raise those funds. She had her accident when she was 11 and at that time you know she was plenty old enough to to have responsibilities of her own. You know, there were several things that she did that we might have taken for granted. You see how much you rely on somebody, even if they're young, when they're completely out of the picture. Everyday life is kind of different, like driving a car or walking down a hallway to having a conversation with someone. That depth perception is definitely affected. After my accident, it kind of puts things into perspective and it reminds you what you need to do differently in your everyday life. I have to be much more alert now. You have to be aware of your surroundings. So it's not only when I'm working on horses that I kind of remember what I did wrong on my accident and how I can change it, but I also, in any situation, I realize that I'm capable, fully capable of making mistakes and I have to do all that I can do to prevent that. If you're in any type of a, whether it be agriculture or ranching or anything like that, the opportunity is always there for things to go wrong. You know, you don't look at, at, at riding and something that you do every day as being a, you know, it might be your last day, but anything can happen. I know I was very comfortable in my ability to operate that horse or to ride that horse. And that was my problem, is I got so comfortable and kind of complacent and relaxed that I lost track of of my edge or my response time. Having that happen, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good reminder. You hate to have something drastic, life-altering to, to change how you look at things, but it, it, I mean, oftentimes that's what it takes. It's, you know, it's definitely altered the way I perceive things and um, the steps that, that go in into preparation for whether it be roping or anything like that. We work with different implements, we work with different trucks, different animals, different types of cattle, different fields. The environment is constantly changing. So I think having that communication is well worth the time in the long run. Just being able that everyone's on the same page. We know what to do if something happens. We make sure they're educated or they feel comfortable with something before we put people to a task. I think communication is the biggest thing in our industry. So as a fifth generation agriculture producer and rancher, I couldn't let something like that hold me back. I think all the people who are producing in our industry, we're very passionate about what we do. Being able to, I think, continue in an industry and having the ability to continue in this industry is the most important thing to me. I almost, I could have very easily died and I very could have easily lost my memory or lost my ability to speak. But because I have this ability to continue in this industry is completely life-changing. <laughs>